you're one of the few people I've talked to in these interviews who've had a career from A to Z in film, in stage, in television, in radio, in many countries. And a career of stature that the pressures of, you know, publicity, marketing, fame. How do you, how does the artist or how does the performer stay alive for you inside the pressures of a large international career like that? Well, you know, it's nice to be a character actor. And I'm finding that I've, um, now that I've arrived at a very old age, <laughs> so, well, I'm 77, and that's not young. Um, I feel in good shape. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good Nick. And I feel I could go on for the next another 10 years gladly, you know. I hope I can. Uh, but people, I'm getting more work now, it seems, than I was before, particularly on the screen, because I think we're all dying off. I'm, we get fewer and fewer of, of our age group, so I get more chance of par old parts now. <laughs> uh, and uh, <coughs> you mean Ian McKellen can't play them all. And, and so I, I get some of them, you see, so that's fun. And, and uh, ever since The Insider that Michael Mann directed, uh, my movie career shot up because it, became, it came up to another level again. It came up to a, an A level rather than a B level. And uh, so I was getting much better scripts offered me and much better films. And I'm off now to do, for instance, Terry Gilliam, that mad, wonderful Terry Gilliam has written another fabulous, I think this time, very wonderful piece called Dr. Parnassus, with which I play the good doctor himself. And uh, that's going to be achingly fun, because I've worked with Terry, I know him, and, uh, and for the first time it's quite clear what the piece is about. I said, Terry, there must be something awfully wrong with you, because I actually understand this script. <laughs> He said, oh, it's clear as mud, clear as mud, clear as mud. He said, Hollywood, Hollywood doesn't like it. They don't understand it. But so he gets his money from all over the world, and then he, when you wait endlessly for the, the bonds to be signed, and then uh, finally you're too old for the part. Uh, but no, not in this case, because he's a very old man. And uh, I'm going to have enormous fun. So this, again, my years are planned to, to, to I've got two years ahead. I'm going to play Caesar and Cleopatra, but up in Stratford, uh, coming up, um, which I'm looking forward to. Because <coughs> I've never, I've, I haven't done Shaw, really. Um, Caesar is such a wonderful old creature in, in that play. And we've got a wonderful uh, African-American actress called uh, Noni Rose, you know, Akita Noni Rose, to play Cleopatra, which is very exciting. She's a very hot ticket at the moment in films and on stage. So uh, that's an exciting season.